Hey everyone, so for this first one we're going to add a gradient adjustment layer and I'm just going to use this one that I already have, but you can choose whichever colors you prefer. I'm going to change the style to radial, um, reverse it because I want the black background to be black, and then adjust the scaling of it to something that I like. After that I'm going to convert it to a smart object and then go to filter and add some noise. Just a little bit because I like it like that, but you can definitely skip this part if you like yours to be cleaner. Now for the second way, we're going to add a gradient again. And I'm gonna use the same gradient I've been using earlier, but I'm going to add black also to the other end. So I kind of want it to be in a, in a line and black on the top and bottom of it. Press OK when I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to convert it to a smart object and I'm kind of going to want to squish it together and add a like more of the black background. So I'm going to first command T to transform, squish this line together. Um, then I'm going to add an adjustment solid color and I'm going to use the same color of the background. So I'm gonna use the eyedropper for that and then merge those two layers together. Then I'm going to go and use some Liquify and just play around with the Liquify tool. Just warp it around till you get something you like, basically. This is so cool. I really do love the Liquify tool. It's one of my favorites. Just press OK when you're happy with it. And as we did with our previous gradient, um, we're going to add some noise to it. So just go to Filter noise, add noise. I'm just going to add two. I don't want too much. And that's the second way I usually do gradients. Um, for the third way, I'm just going to make a new layer and fill it in with black. Then I'm going to grab my brush tool with the white color selected and change the blending mode to difference. And then just start painting lines. And as you see, every line you add, it's going to create this cool looking weird effect. So the more lines you add, you can change brush size and you can do all sorts of stuff. Um, also, if you change your brush color, your background will change color and become really cool. Um, but for this, I'm just going to add when I'm happy with how the background is looking, I'll just add the same gradient by using it on the adjustments layer. Just use a gradient map. I'm then going to select both layers and convert them to smart object and uh, add my noise. Now for the fourth way that I sometimes do these gradients, um, for these ones I usually put them in shapes. So I'm going to start off with my brush tool and lowering the opacity of it. Then I'm going to add my gradient map right away. I'm resetting the blending mode to a normal for the brush. I'm going to add the same gradient map that I've been using. Um, reselect my background layer and then just start um, brushing with that low opacity. So each time I we go through my background, it's going to show up uh, another color of my gradient. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, that's what I usually do. Then I usually, when I'm happy with it, I usually command T to transform and then click right click and select warp. And that's how I get to this point where I'm like making this weird looking shape. 
Um, I keep on warping it till I'm happy with the results and how with how the gradient is looking. You can get some really awesome stuff by playing around with the warp tool in Photoshop. So now that I'm happy with how the gradient is looking, I'm going to basically select both layers and convert them to smart objects. I'm then going to make my shape and I want this one to be inside of a circle. So I'm going to create my circle, bring it behind the background and then just add a clipping mask to it. And then I'm just going to play with the sizing and positioning of it and probably adding uh, like one more or like duplicating this layer a couple of times and changing its position to get that cool effect. So here I'm just keep, I just keep on duplicating it, um, rotating it, moving it around and just creating different layers just to have more depth in this. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to again f convert everything to a smart object and just add the noise. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. This is how I usually make my gradients in my stuff. Um, I hope this video was useful and hope you get to use these techniques in your art too. Subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like the content I make. Um, also feel free to check out my Instagram and my gradient map packs and texture packs. They'll all be linked below in the description. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!